it's Gene retired in Mexico and while I'm waiting for my new laptop I thought maybe we could just do a short video that might be fun uh, something I came across it's non-musical but it does support you know I'm a defender of the 21st century so we'll look at how people like me when when I was younger this is a thing that says 10 things that baby boomers let me get the exact title here 10 things baby boomers did and I am considered a boomer uh, 10 things baby boomers did that would be considered crazy today. I got a, a strong wind out here today. So let's go ahead and go through those and I'll uh, just talk about what I'm guilty of and what's better and what's worse today. So the first one is no seat belts in cars. So in the 60s and 70s seat belts were not yet a standard feature in vehicles and many people did not use them. It's true. When I first started driving, 17, 18, 19 years old, I didn't wear a seatbelt. Uh, and it wasn't until 1984 that seatbelt usage became mandatory in the United States. So today, not wearing a seatbelt except in New Hampshire, is uh, that's the only place. So yeah, uh, is the world better or worse? The world is better today for having seatbelt laws. And uh, back in the day, if you don't know the name, there was a guy named Ralph Nader who was a real thumb, thumb up every government's butt about car safety. And uh, he was able to influence a lot of changes in the automotive industry. And Yeah, thank God. Okay, number one, no seat belts in cars. We chalk one up for the 21st century. Smoking indoors. It's true, um, smoking on planes, I remember that. And, you know, my father would take me to uh, basketball games. Uh, and in the fourth quarter, we, we, we couldn't see the numbers on the jersey. There was so much smoke hanging from the ceiling. Uh, by the way, one of the games my dad took me to, I saw Wilt Chamberlain score his 30,000th point in Phoenix, Arizona. And he was the first player to score 30,000 points. Uh, now, uh, LeBron James has just broken Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record, but I saw Wilt Chamberlain score his 30,000th point, and if you could believe it, here's how he scored it. You think, three-pointer? No, there were no three-pointers. So that wasn't possible. It wasn't a free throw, wasn't a tip-in. Um, you ready for this? Goaltending, yeah never went in the basket. The whistle blew, he was awarded the basket, 30,000th point. Very uh, anticlimactic. But anyway, that's the, that's the way basketball goes. So is it better today or back in the day? Two for the 21st century, zero for my day. Lead in gasoline, well this one should be a no-brainer. Unleaded gas, yeah, I think we all kind of know about that one, so I don't have to talk about that one. But I remember when uh, unleaded gas came in, yeah, so that's one for the 21st century. So far, 21st century three, 20th century zero. No car seats for children, it's true. You just put the kid on the roof rack. No, I'm kidding. You, but um, kids would ride in the back of trucks or whatever, you know, it didn't matter. And, uh, yeah, so car seats, you know, they cost money. And uh, not every, you know, they're hard. I know here in Mexico, a car seat can be a hardship. Uh, a lot of times they give car seats at um, baby showers. You have baby showers, people pitch in, they give you a car seat. Yeah, it's true. So, um, but, yeah, it says here that uh, reduces the risk of injury to children by 71 to 82 percent. All right, chalk one up for the 21st century. No sunscreen. I don't remember that. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I remember using sunscreen in high school, so... I don't know if these guys are exactly right about that. I mean, it was available, but um, I guess you're saying not widely available or used. Yeah, I think that was true. People used to get sunburned all the time. Um, yeah, lots of lots of my friends would get sunburned going out 
to the uh, tubing on the river or out to the lakes. Yeah. Yeah. And I got burnt a couple times myself pretty good, uh, which isn't saying much for somebody who glows. In it. By the way, George Carlin once said, he said, I don't tan, I stroke. That's me. All right, let's go with number, well, let's see here. Am I going to have to pause this? Oh, here we go. No bike helmets. Yeah, it's true. I never wore a bike helmet in my life. Um, I, don't, I don't bike today is what I'm saying, but, you know, there's cobblestone streets here, so only the tough really bike. I mean, it's a mile high with cobblestone streets, so most people don't ride bicycles. They ride motorcycles or ATVs. Uh, but, yeah, today bike helmets are mandatory for children strongly encouraged for adults so yeah much better um, should you be able to ride without a helmet I don't know I mean you where I come from you can ride a motorcycle without a helmet so I'm not sure why you would have to on a bicycle not a motorcycle but there you go number seven unsupervised playtime oh yes now I gotta say though on this one you know, so far we're six for the 21st century and zero for the 21st century, or the 20th century. But our parents tell us there were no concerns about letting children play outside on the road and playgrounds near water bodies without adult supervision. So uh, that is true. I was a latchkey kid. Uh, my sisters and I, we just spent about two hours unsupervised every day until our parents got home from work. And um, yeah, so I was the oldest, so my sisters did what I said. <laughs> you can imagine what it was like when you're eight or nine, however old we were. But um, Stranger Danger, yeah, I think this is one of those things where it was really bad back in the day. If you have a, a, uh, a meter, the scale was way over here and you're like it wasn't good kids were molested and snatched and all sorts of things but now we've corrected that and now we've gone way overboard the other way <laughs> where everybody's um, you know shuttled here and shuttled there and kept away from everything and I think I think this one I, I'm not going to give it to either century I'm really not it's like it was bad back in the day and now it's bad in a different way and that middle ground where you're cautious but you give kids some liberty I, I think that's where we need to be so I'm not going to give a score you know to either one on this one communication was slow yeah it's true um, so boomers grew up in a world without cell phones often relied on letters pay phones or landlines for communication. By the way, there's still a couple payphones up here at the park. It's amazing. Um, imagine having to get in touch with your loved ones in an emergency and running to the payphone to make a call. Yeah, yeah. It you know it's true, but it's what it was. So you learn to deal with it. And uh, you know, people used to. <laughs> Here's a concept that's been lost. You talk about slow. There were people that they would be in prison and they, they would play pen chess either with another inmate or somebody on the outside and you would set up a chess board and you would mail your move to the other person. Then they'd move their piece, they'd decide on their move, mail it back. It could take up to a year to play one game of chess. Now that's slow. So. Uh, no, the world is better today, um, but there were advantages to that. Obviously, um, time moved a little bit more slowly, and that's not such a bad thing, right? But uh, yeah, overall, I'll take today's world. I'll take my, my cell phone and my internet and my communications, so yeah. But, um, but then, you know, it's like the comic Stephen Wright said, he told a joke, he said, I put some instant coffee in the microwave. I almost went back in time. Now, I love that joke, 
that's how it feels today. I mean, it's better with all this communication, but it's also a fast world, right? So uh, there was something to be said for a more deliberate pace, but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to give this one to the 21st century. No environmental regulations. Woo! Yeah. Rachel Carson wrote Silent Spring when I was just a little kid. I don't remember the book coming out, but it changed everything. And, um, you know, it's interesting. The EPA was formed under the Nixon administration, which was a Republican administration. Unheard of today. Like, yeah, amazing. So the EPA happened in, uh, oh, somewhere between 68 and 73 when he was president. And it was a good thing. And uh, some people got mad if you've ever read uh, the Dark Money books. Some uh, people that, uh, when DDT was banned, the guy that manufactured DDT took it personally, went on revenge. But um, overall, um, the, the environmental thing, it, it not only was it better, but it was necessary because we're still losing ground. and. Uh, yeah, I think um, yeah, I think the environment's the most existential thing going on, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm here to talk about music primarily. But yeah, I'll chalk this one up to the uh, 21st century. I will say that the EPA has been kind of um, captured by some companies like Dupont that have uh, hired ex EPA um, government workers to now work for these private companies and. Yeah, I don't know. The EPA's been uh, denutted a little bit, but uh, still, it's better today. Last one, children grew up quickly. Um, I'm not, let's read this. When boomers say kids today are spoiled, they aren't kidding. Hmm. In the past, children had a lot more responsibility. The term latchkey kids was created to define children with working parents who used to take care of themselves after school to their parents go home. I alluded to that earlier. Now, this is true down here. This is really hard to believe, but we've heard stories of how kids used to be given a shopping list and sent off to the store. Items include cigarettes, cleaning products, alcohol, things no one would sell to children today. Now. My, I didn't buy cigarettes or alcohol for my parents, but I bought all sorts of... I was seven. Yeah, I was seven years old, and I would go to the store about, I don't know, several blocks away, and I would pick up stuff. I remember mm -hmm. dropping a tub of cottage cheese on the uh, sidewalk one time and coming home and telling my mom, sorry, no cottage cheese, it's on the sidewalk. But, uh, yeah, we used to do that, and um, what I don't get about this one is it doesn't fit with the other nine. We're talking about things that, well, I guess it does. Um, this one here, latchkey kids, I don't know, I'm mixed on this one. Um, this is the other one I'm going to give a zero to both the 21st and 20th centuries, because I think the middle ground... Uh, hasn't been achieved. It was over here and now it's over here. Um, so I'm going to give eight points to the 21st century, uh, two no scores, and zero points to the 20th century. So there you go. Thanks for joining me on the channel. If you like what we're doing, hit that like or subscribe button. Like I say, this is just a short, well, not that short, but uh, just a little uh, something to do different. And uh, until we get back to music reactions. Thanks. Wayne Dia. Wayne Dia. That's my landlady. <laughs>